bitch out the room and gave her no breakfast. Had to stand the Jews, these bitches so reckless. Keep my hoes on cruise, I'm talking no town, showing off for new things. Couldn't take it all, so I gave her own change. She called me top shots. Good morning, guys. I'm I'm here waiting for my boss to show up five minutes before six. To be honest with you, I'm not really sure he's going to be here today. Because I would have heard from him right now to tell me that he's running late. And I know he's been going through a lot recently. And he has not been keeping me in the loop with a lot of things. And the last time I was here, he ran out of the store without saying anything to me because his son was sick I think from I was just filling in the blanks nobody actually officially told me but we'll, we'll see so no plans today just work same old same old what is all this oh man I still have sand all in the lens from the beach the other day oh in, the, in one of the last vlogs I was telling you I was looking for the official notice to tell me that my rent is being raised um, so that I can put in my 60 day notice so it did come and they are raising it $130 so basically I will be paying 200 over $200 more than I started paying when I first started when I first moved in which is a little ridiculous I know it's probably going to cost even more money to move, but it's the principle, so I was kind of like, hex, no, I'm not staying. Um, I know I'm always talking about moving and apartment hunting and blah, 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 like all the time, but like, it's like a really big deal for me. Home situations have never been permanent for me most of my life, and it's quite bother bothersome, and that's why I'm always talking about it, because I just want... I just want like a home I don't want like an apartment like I really want a home like something I can call I can say is mine is like mine belongs to me and someplace that I'm gonna be permanent and that's kind of like what I'm looking for right now like I feel like I only want two more places the next one is going to the apart be the apartment that I save all my money for and like stay there for a few I don't I wouldn't even say years like I really only want maybe a year but stay there for a little while save as much money as possible and then go for my house like that is my my plan but I am so when I tell you guys how sick and tired I am of moving I am beyond it like there is nothing fun about the moving process there's nothing about looking for apartments there's nothing good about going through the application fees to get an apartment um there is, there's nothing fun with having to come up with money for the security deposit and first month and last month rent and dealing with neighbors that you're probably not going to get along with. Like, it's so incredibly, incredibly, incredibly stressful. So I just want it to be over with. Once it's done, once I get my house, like, I will never bring that up ever again. I would just be, the only time you hear me talking about something, I'd be like, oh, I'm going to go pay my mortgage today. I'm going to pay my mortgage today. And that's it. That's it. That's all you got to hear from me. That's it. Oh, I might be talking about, like, ways I want to decorate the place, too. But that's, that's all fun stuff. At least for me, it is. My camera's acting weird. But I'm on break at my job. I'm on break at work. I'm going into, I don't know yet, the Dollar Tree or Walmart to pick up some stuff for the apartment. Like paper towel, toilet paper, all that good stuff. Now all I need is some chocolate and then I can go. Thanks to Kimmy Unlimited, I was able to master the checkout, the self-checkout at Walmart with trying to take the plastic bags apart to put the stuff in it. She suggested that I lick my thumb and then like whatever, like with the bag to get it out and it worked! I had other issues with the self-checkout today, but it didn't have anything to do with this issue. 
that, I'd like to give a big shout out to Kimmy Unlimited. Go click on the link of her channel in the description bar below. <laughs> I would kill for a mango right now. I would go to Publix and get one, but I don't know, Publix and Walmart's fruits are not as, I don't know, With the, the mangoes from Walmart and Publix just don't taste that fresh. Like I want a nice, fresh, freshly picked mango off the tree. My mom used to brag all the time about how she had the best mangoes off for trees in Trinidad, like who cares? Actually, I do care because I love mangoes. I love mangoes. But it was so funny today. I was working. Oh my gosh. This is the same thing that happened last Friday. Why are these people driving? They're seriously going 35 miles an hour at a 45 mile an hour zone. Let me move around. I don't have road rage. It's so funny because I. I literally spent half of my shift standing there talking to my boss about his marriage. And the only reason the conversation stopped is because my other boss came in through the door. And it was so funny because she saw us standing there and obviously we're like in the middle of something. It was just so awkward. And then I had to like make some kind of joke. I'm like, wow, you look so different without your glasses on because like nobody knew what to say. We couldn't finish the conversation we were having because it wasn't like for everyone to hear but it was just so weird because we just kind of like just standing there like staring at each other for like a few seconds <laughs> nobody knew what to say <laughs> i how do i get myself into these things <laughs> i forgot to tell you guys about my rabbit again let me tell you about lola let me tell you what the rabbit did to me again okay she bit through not one but two of my charges last night so if it wasn't for me going into my mom's room and thieving her charger her spare charger I wouldn't have a phone right now because Lola thought it would be a good idea to bite through the charger's cord I'm charging my phone on the charger like she she's worked my last nerve I, you know, the thing is, like, I had a conversation before I took her out of her cage. I said, Lola, I really want to take you out, but you can't be trusted. You're in love with these cords too much. I'm like, I know you've been in there for a while, and I like to see you run around the place, but you also love to chew on these important cords that I need. I said, we're going to have to come to a compromise. And she looked at me with these big, beautiful bunny eyes, and I believed her, and I opened the cage door, and as soon as she got out, she ran exactly where I didn't want her to go, and then she chews through not one, but two of my chargers. <sighs> There's something gross leaking in my bag right now. I don't know what it is. I just put my hand right in it. I don't know. I don't know. Look. Oh, that's slime. <laughs> I can do a little funny doing a little bit anyway. Oh my gosh. Look, this smells really, really bad in here. My body wash. Oh my gosh, I am so clumsy. I have to go and wash this thing now. You know, this has been sitting here for so long. Trash. Did I tell you guys about that old guy? The old guy in my job who has a huge crush on me? Or in love with me. I don't know which one it is. Look what he got me. <laughs> or made me, I should say. A big rubber band ball. Purple rubber bands. Just for me. He went out of his way to make this for me. See, this is a thoughtful gift. Y'all pay attention. We like things like this. So I'm in the poorly dim lit car. So you know what time it is. Time for me to go home. So I was thinking, oh, why am I talking so loud? I'm the only person here. I was thinking of going home and doing my hair. I wanted to dye it. I'm extremely nervous because this is a permanent dye this time. I wanted to dye it blonde, but just for a little while. It's not gonna be a long time. 
if my mom is home maybe she can help me with it but I kind of wanted to do it on my own I don't know how I'm feeling yet I don't even know if I'm actually gonna do it I guess I'll make that decision when I walk in the door and oh special shout out to Calvin if you're watching and you should be because I told you you need to be supporting me for saying that I have an interesting life that is so sweet of you it's a lie but still very sweet <laughs> in the car again shocker but I got home and my mom said she had a really tough day at work well not at work she just had a really rough day so I was like oh um let me get you buy you some wine you know to take the edge off it's just like oh that's so sweet so the only wine that I know is Moscato so I went and I I went to look for Moscato um when I reached there I realized there are actually different types I thought it was like one thing like there was just one thing called Moscato. I didn't know there was like different like flavors. <laughs> I'm learning. So I didn't know what to get and I couldn't call her because my phone is dead. So I just got the pink bottle because it looked pretty. It's called Sutter Home. S Sutter Home Pink Moscato. The bottle was pretty so I went with it. Sue me. I'm waiting on my sister to come do my hair. She take it forever. It's what time is it? It's 11... It's 11.15, but I'm watching Braxton's right now. And just getting my stuff together. Trying to make sure I'm reading all the directions right. Ooh, what am I sitting on? And I am so dizzy, guys. I'm so dizzy. I keep drinking this water and I'm still... I still feel like I'm going to fall out. Oh, Jesus, take the wheel. I'm still up. It's like almost 1 o'clock in the morning. I'm here watching Spongebob. Yo, this episode has me rolling. <laughs> I want you guys to see the specific part that I keep laughing at. Like, I was like almost in tears crying. Hey there, laddie. Just let the legal system run its course. Watch your head. <laughs> no! Wait! Please! He's good stuff. He's getting something to watch his head. <laughs> Do you see how small he is? <laughs> He's like holding him in his hand. <laughs> okay, watch his head. <laughs> He's gonna hit his head on the. <laughs> Look, I hear it's blowing. Is that texting me in the booty call hours? They should know better. Who is this? Who? I see two names on my caller ID. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I got my hair done. So most of the strands now are at four. When I twist my body like this, it raises up a little, but it's at four, which is funny because just two weeks ago, most of them were at three. So I don't know what happened between last week and this week, but look at the hair. Look at it. Take a good look at it. It is now blonde. I don't know if I should do it blonder to get the purple, bright purple that I want. I don't know if it can get any blonder than this, but I'm gonna rock this for a few weeks. And if it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, when I do put the purple in, I'm going to uh, see if it's bright enough. If it's not, I'll wait another few weeks. I'll dye it blonde again. And from there, I think I should be fine, right? Yeah. I'm sneaking into the kitchen for a drink.
This camera be taking forever to focus though. I'm gonna see if I can get tipsy tonight. Tipsy Tiffany. My brother was making fun of me in the vlog. Go check it out. It's called my first vodka experience. He said it wasn't a real drink because it was a shot, really. I didn't know that at the time. And I took like an hour to finish it, so it defeated the whole purpose. So he was make, basically making fun of me. He still makes fun of me about that video up to this day. But I'm going to show him. I'm going to show him. I know a thing or two about drinking. Well, maybe I know a thing. Maybe. <laughs> I'm like really tipsy. <laughs> I'm really tired and I've spilled alcohol all over my clothes. I'm going to bed now because I don't want to embarrass myself. But you guys have a good day or night. <laughs> we'll chat tomorrow. We'll chat tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>